Hey guys, it's Melissa. Just here making a quick little video. Um, it's not an IVF update. It's just a felt like making a video. Um, we had a really fun weekend. My husband had a three-day weekend. Um, he didn't have Monday off as a holiday, but he took it off um, because he has a bunch of vacation time and we're getting close to the end of the year, so he just wants to use it. So yesterday, we really didn't do a whole lot. We stayed home until about like two in the afternoon. We went out and had lunch at, um, there's a restaurant around here called Pub 99. And when I was pregnant, I was obsessed with their boneless buffalo wings. <laughs> and we used to go there all the time. Um, but now it's kind of fun. We bring Vincent and we put him in the high chair. And um, so we went there and then we went for a walk uh, in a cemetery that's around here. Um, it's like probably my favorite place to go walk around. It's really, really pretty. And in the fall, uh, the foliage there is just amazing because they have all different kinds of trees. It's a, it's a protected by the historical society and, uh, they take care of all the trees really well there, but there's all different kinds and the colors are just awesome. So even though the colors have just started to come out, um, it's really, really pretty there. So I'll put some pictures in here. We really didn't do much after that. We just came home and kind of hung out, and John and I watched some TV shows after Vincent went to bed, and then we went to bed. And today we went to the apple orchard. We didn't go picking apples because the pick your own section was closed for the season, I think. But we had some lunch there, and we had some of their apple dumplings. So John actually grew up going to this orchard with his family and he's always talked about how great these dumplings are and everybody around here talks about how great they are and I never had one so we went there and um, they're really really good so I'm gonna put a few little video snippets in here and maybe a couple of pictures. Here at the apple orchard. What'd you get for lunch? I got a bowl of chili with some onion on it and a hot dog. Nice toasted bun. Is it good? It's delicious. I got a bowl of chili, no onions. Vincent has a sippy cup. Is that sippy cup good?
This is like the flea market section inside the orchard. There's a stuff to take care of. Vincent, what do you think of apple dumplings? Vincent. Well, we finished our lunch and we walked around a little bit. And now, what are we having? We are having apple dumplings. One with cheddar cheese and one with vanilla ice cream. I prefer the ice cream. But the cheese is good too. John, tell us about this orchard. Um, this is an orchard that my family used to come to every Columbus Day when I was little. Because my dad used to work for the state. And since we all had the day off in school, it was a perfect day for everyone to come out. Come out here and get bags and bags of apples and a bunch of penny candy. Playing the old school merry-go-round. Yep. Old metal merry-go-round, old metal slides. Old metal uh, swing set. Did you guys pick your own apples? No. No. That would have been. I think, we didn't either because it's closed today. <laughs> I think the season is over. We're gonna try Vincent on the swings in a little bit. It's chilly though, isn't it? You want some more apple dumpling? <laughs> Is that yummy? <laughs> How about ice cream, Vincent? Give him a little bit of ice cream. Makes the funniest face. <laughs> it's cold, but it's good, huh? <laughs> So after that, we went to a park near us because they have these great swings. Um, they're just the regular old baby swings, you know, it's like got the leg holes on the front and the back, but they're at like a great height. They're at like chest height for adults, so you don't have to like bend over to push the kid. So um, Vincent really loves those swings, so we went there and pushed him in the swings for a little while, and I will show you a little of that now. <laughs> Vincent loves the swings at the park.
So after that, we just stopped at the grocery store, came home, Vincent went down for a nap, and John and I were just kind of relaxing, and um, we just had some dinner, and John's giving Vincent his tubby, and um, we're going to put him to bed. So I've just been doing like some research for his birthday party. I'm going to order his invitations tonight, and I'm just looking for like some decoration ideas and maybe some activities for the kids or f different foods. Um, so far I found a couple of good ideas. Just to get my list here. Um, so one of them was like on the food table underneath the food for little placemats you can use bubble wrap which is kinda cool because it's oh it's a rubber ducky themed birthday party. Um, so we're doing blue, white, and yellow balloons and tablecloths and um, you know, utensils and napkins and stuff like that. So, bubble wrap, I thought that was a cute idea. Um, somebody said to make blue punch. So, like, a big punch bowl with blue punch, and if you put Sprite in it and ice cream, so it'll look, like, bubbly and foamy, and then have a couple of little duckies floating on top, so I might do that. Um, Oriental Trading sells these white rubber duckies. I think they're rubber. Anyway, they're these white little duckies. <coughs> Excuse me and you can have the kids decorate them however they want so I'm thinking about doing that because oriental trading is pretty cheap and you can get quite a few for not a lot of money and then another cute idea for food that I found was to take Cheerios, Chex, and Kix and mix them together and put them in like a bucket or a bowl or something and to call it duck feed so I thought those were cute ideas and I just wanted to ask if anybody had any good ideas for anything like food, decorations, activities, anything having to do with rubber duckies. I like, you know, anything that's kind of clever. Like I think the bubble wrap was kind of clever and the duck feed, you know, interesting things like that. Um, let me know, comment and let me know because I'm looking for like great ideas. And um, so just a little update on Vincent. He is almost 11 months old. It's craziness and he's doing awesome <clears throat> he's eating all kinds of different foods he's drinking out of his sippy cup he has a sippy cup that has a straw um, we tried a whole bunch of other sippy cups but he just doesn't get that he has to like tip it up to drink it so the straw one is perfect and the good thing about a straw sippy cup is you know he can drink from a straw until he's um, you know whenever I don't know we go out to a restaurant and John and I still drink from a straw so um, we don't have to like wean him off of it or anything you know um, he is like I think he's like weaning himself off of his formula he seems like he just does not want to finish his bottles anymore he used to do eight ounces four times a day and now like we're lucky if we can get him to finish even one of those bottles like he'll drink Sometimes he'll drink like two or three ounces and then he just doesn't want any more. So, um, you know, if he was younger I might be worried, but as it is, he's 11 months, he's almost gonna, he's almost one, and when they turn one, um, they can go to regular milk anyway, so. Um, I wonder if it's like a flavor thing, like he's getting used to all these new exciting flavors and he's just sick of the formula, I don't know. So anyway. Um, that's an update on him, and we're doing great. Um, supposedly, they're going to send my stuff off to the insurance company tomorrow, so I don't know how long that's going to take, but um, I don't need the medications until a week after I ovulate, and I haven't ovulated yet, so um, I guess there's still a possibility that maybe it could happen this month. I don't know. I'll just have to wait and see what happens, see when I ovulate, and then wait to hear from them with the approval, and if it comes soon enough, then we can go, and if not, oh well. I will talk to you guys all very soon, and I hope you're all doing well. Alright, bye.